shows up. Mm -hmm. We are now live. They want to know exactly what time. Yeah. So. We shall see. Well, it's, it takes time for people to come in, but I hate doing the scheduled because um, then it's a 30 minute and then people just wait anyway. It sends out a notification, but then people wait the 30 minutes for it to actually start. You know? So I figured I don't mind sitting here just, hey, D. Hey, D. Now I'm confusing myself because I have too many. Windows screens. <laughs> Hi, Keith. Hi, Dee Dee Bean. Let's see if I can see comments today. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Mayland S. I am so happy today is over. <laughs> At least my work week. <laughs> Um, it was a long work week. I'm very happy this week is finished. Today was much better than yesterday, though. Okay, I still can't see comments. I don't understand what's going on. No way! And really? I'm coming on this. Like, I can't see the comments on my iPad. Like, there's not even a comment bar. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I will read the comments to you. Well, I'm so keep to, maybe I'm just having a short bus moment. Give me one second. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have said that. Sorry. <laughs> I am never going to be considered politically correct. Yeah, it's okay. I don't, I don't think people know what that reference is anymore. Anyway, so if you hit if you hit the live the live and go into the live, it should pop up the chats, go to all chats, anything. There's nothing about chats or comments, anything. But you're in the live? How yeah. weird. Wait. I've never had it should do that before. I'm confusing myself. Well, it could, it could be, I, I have no idea. I really don't. <laughs> So frustrating. Let me back out and try it one more again. <laughs> All right. Keith, why, why was your week such a difficult week? You told me you were happy this week was over too. What happened to you? We oh, just love technology, yes. When it works, and we curse it when it doesn't. It never works, that's my problem. Well, I don't have it. Weather. Don't know. It's not working. <laughs> okay, well, I'm just going to read the chats to you, and we'll just go with it. And um, oh, so mind, we it. have... I got, <laughs> hmm? I got it. I turned it sideways. It started working. Oh, never mind. No. I backed up. Somebody else's. Oh. Um. Let's see. Keith says hello, and I know I, I queued up for that estate. Oh, Keith went to an estate sale. He queued up at one a.m. Guys, one a.m. That is a long day. Who's estate yeah, sale so was that? I don't stand in line for nobody like that. No, neither do I. He asked me like, "Do you ever stand in line for anything?" I'm like, "No." James does. I do not. In an estate sale since 1 a.m., Keith, that is... Uh, at least tell me you got some good things. <laughs> I was, like, was it worth the 1 a.m. wait in line? Just kick it, and you will feel better. <laughs> That's D. Higginbotham. She says, just kick it, Craig. You'll feel better. <laughs> just to sing a little to no sleep. Um, so we have 11 people in the chat. Um... We're asking um, if Keith has found anything awesome. Yeah. I actually don't know what this looks like during a live because I don't look at this until after the live's over and I go into YouTube studios. Um, I wish there was a way for you to see what I'm seeing. And it's really frustrating that you cannot. 
it's like no. it seems like such a simple thing. Well, I just don't. I don't want you to have to sit there and relay everything to me. But I don't. Well, know I read. I, I read it anyway. Um, okay, we'll just play that way Keith, because. Yeah. Keith says he got an original first edition Aramis chair in Ottoman. Aramis E A M E S. Aramis, yeah, that's that's good. Wow, I don't even know what that is. So yay. In perfect condition for only twenty five hundred dollars. Resell these for fifteen thousand. That's a good find. Well, I mean, it's a state sale, so. Brian says, "Hey, so Ke Craig is in the house, but he can't see the chat because technology, technology." Emes, e e. Okay, so e a m e s. Emes. Cool. Hey, Monica. Hey, Monica's in the house. So we have a bunch of people coming in. We're about 12 people in the, the chat. So let me show you. Um, I got a Louis Vuitton trunk from the 19th century. Keith, that's pretty dang cool. Um, so are you keeping these things for yourself or are you selling these things? I mean, that's a lot of effort. This is my bag today. Yeah. I, I used her. Bag. I just wish so it was more yeah, it's a little structured, you know, but I used a different strap on it because this strap just keeps falling. The, the strap it comes with just falls right off my arm. It's just so annoying. So this is my bag today. Oh, how pretty. So it, you're, 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 pretty. You're, so, you're so creamy. All the neutral camel colors. Um. Yeah. So I have a couple unboxings today because the mail came and it's perfect so like segue into our conversation because it happens to be Ralph Lauren. So let me open it so then we'll have Craig talk to you about this. Um so this is one of the boxes. This is the big one. Now I told you guys about this. But I showed Craig but I showed Craig this and we both still can't believe how cheap this was sold to me for um let's let's hope i'm opening the right box because there's two boxes here okay. yep this is definitely the right box um Uh, Michael says hello. Hey. Brian says what's what you bought a bag. I can't imagine that. I know, right, Brian? Jackie's oh. buying a bag. How could I? Hi, Debbie. So Craig is in the house, but he can't see the chat, so we're just gonna be reading a lot. But we're gonna show you the bag I bought. So then he's gonna tell you about this um really cool bag. Look, look. Wait, let me get this in the frame right. Let me move this down. So this is that. So do you have the brown one I gave you there with, with you? Where did I put that? Because that's the new version of that bag. <laughs> How about the blue one? It's totally a different bag. Oh. Okay, hold on, hold on. I, I think I know it's where it is. I'm just going right to show back. the difference. Where did I put that? Oh, that's where that is. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. I know where it is. Give me a second. <laughs> this one? Yeah, that's the old version of the new one you got today. So, this is the predecessor. Is this called the Newberry? New no, the Newberry Berry. is the one with the zips. That one is, um, I don't remember what the old version is, but the new one's like the Amelia or, you know, some girl's name. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what it is. Her back. Mercy. Marcy. Yes, yes, Marcy. This is the Marcy. The, so but the brown the one, one is the old version of that. Yes. So 
I got this one. And this is the one I've been, I've been wanting to get this new version. And it's actually exactly the same thing. The only difference is um, they took the, the material. out of it in the middle and put a zipper inside of it. Well, even, yeah, this one has a zipper. And, and the then, older one had a flap on the middle. Yeah, in the, middle. the old one had a flap. Yeah. That's the only difference, this, really. Yeah. That's so cool. I like the way this, yeah, that literally is the only difference. And that they painted the interior of the backside of the suede. They, this is actually two sides of leather. It's like, and this no, is just. The new one is leather lined. Yeah. This one I think is heavier though. And if you pet that one, the old one doesn't have um, hardware on the handles. They're just leather yeah. handles where the new one has the. Oh, what? you're right. You're so, so people should... oriented. <laughs> so this one is the new one. So this is the Mercy tote. And that was whatever the other tote was. It's a predecessor. Yeah. So. It had a girl's name too, but I, I can't remember if it was Marcy or not. It could be. Um, looking at, looking at them side by side, the older version's better. The, the leather, of, I think so in a lot of ways. The, 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 it's it's all leather, whereas the new one you can't really tell what's leather, no. wet leather. Yeah. And... It's this the new one is thinner, even though it's leather lined, it's still thinner. Also, it makes it lighter. This one is thicker and it has a coating because it's just that like Safiano type of, but you can definitely see the underside. I don't know, they're both pretty cool. The um, older ones, it's wider too. Oh, Craig, are you still there? Uh oh, technology can't hear you now. Can't hear you. Can you guys hear me? People in the chats, frozen. Okay, oh, okay. Can you hear Craig? We can hear me. They can't hear Craig, but no Craig. Okay. Oh, he's going to come back in, I'm sure. <laughs> Let's try this again. And add. Sorry, I had a phone call and I couldn't get, oh, couldn't hear you. So. Yeah, hey, well, we can hear you now. Well, I can hear you. Guys, can... In the chat, can we hear Craig? Yes, no, Craig. Apple says, but that was the delayed. Um, perfect. Debbie says perfect. So here we are. So yeah, um, the older version's better, guys. I am. I know we keep saying the older version is better than the newer versions, but this case, looking at them side by side, absolutely. Hey, is Naomi. The older one a lot heavier. Yes. I thought so. Yes. It's much heavier. Um, let me see. So I got that tote for um, the purchase price is $25 and the all in with tax and shipping was $41.78. Oh. So for $40, this is this is a great bag. This That's is a, a really sweet. great bag. I never yeah. see those for under $100 ever. Me neither. Especially for $25. These normally sell retail for over three hundred, if not over four. Yeah, four twenty-five. Yeah, over four now. Yeah, but this one is definitely a better. This one will last longer. I really do think so. This is just a better, thicker leather, and that's really what it comes down to, guys. Um, and I have one more bag to show you. Um, Rosanna says she loves those RRL bags, and now we say hi to everybody. And Brian says she Brian says he loves the brown. That one was actually Craig's personal bag. We that's like the first one we traded, you know, and. So it was, and yes, yes, the black bag I got from eBay, the brown bag I got from Craig. Yeah. 
So this is another bag I want to show you guys because this is just a uh, no business buying this none none. Um, but it was um what what do you call it a impulse because it was all of twelve dollars and ninety nine cents and all in buy in was twenty nine dollars for this That's one a, right here. That's a yeah. burger. You just don't eat a burger today. I mean it's twelve dollars a burger. Oh, actually, I think our dinner costs more than $30 tonight. Yeah, that's what and I'm saying. <laughs> Craig, uh, Keith, Craig says, oh, Keith says to Craig, your jumper looks so cozy and warm. The weather shifted, guys. It's cold. Man, I've been miserable all day. I love the cold because of getting to wear better clothes because to me, spring yeah. and summer clothes are just not attractive. But I'm over it. I have eczema. I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Keith says a burger where? A burger here is $18. Keith, that's because you're living in New York or New Jersey or wherever you're living. But here in Texas, we can still get a burger for 12 bucks. No, you can't get a drink or fries, but you can get a burger for 12 bucks. Painless so Corner. You got both mm -hmm. of those bags for less than what you and James could have eaten for in New York. So it's a deal. Exactly. He doesn't quite agree with me, though. <laughs> so this one is like super duper i hate it when retailers do this so let me explain what has happened this is an ebay seller and this is not sent priority mail but they went to the postal service and they took a priority mail box which is free because it's supposed to be covered when you pay for priority shipping and then they use different shipping but use the free box. This is how you don't get nice things, people. People keep ripping off the post office and the prices keep going up. Hey, by the so, way, are you did uh -huh. you know that each post office has to pay the government for those supplies? Yeah. It comes out of their yeah. budget for the quarter, but then they give them away and for if, free. <laughs> and if they're too short changed, they're not they're gonna stop doing it. You know, yep. so I had this was this was just hey Linda P. This was just so cute. Look how cute this is. This is the twelve dollar bag. You know, raffia? it's raffia. It's total summer vibes. I like the little bit of um, the hardware detail. It's not a big bag. It's a small bag. You know, pretty though. I like the gold. Yeah, it's really pretty. It's the brown and the gold. I mean, for 30 bucks with shipping. I mean, so eventually, I mean, it was $13. Um, it's not a high-end bag, guys. There's some edge wear here, but it's a summer bag. It's a cute little summer bag, and I will use it, and I didn't have to spend crazy the way they money for a basket bag. Or um, I think Dale's addiction. No, no, not Dale. Yoda Styles has a basket robe. And hey, Nancy Karnas. Um, and um dale has the basket uh dior she has the yes, basket back yes and so does meredith i believe but this is just a a woven raffia breaks so i don't like spending a lot of time and money on raffia no this is more like a straw a lighter this is more more straw than raffia after feeling it but it's it's this is this is a excuse me synthetic fiber this is not a natural fiber i can feel it but that's also why it won't break if real raffia will break it will all of the wicker all the all those types of natural materials can get brittle over time i've always wondered oh that. no is wicker, i just lost audio huh? is wicker and raffia the same thing i, I, I thought there were two different materials there are two different materials. Uh, wicker is more of a different reed. Raffia is a grass. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway, I like, um, raffia, make... I don't like the other. Yes. Uh, well, I don't. I like most of the natural textiles when it comes to weaving, but to have them made really well, they're just fairly expensive. You know. Um. So, and Debbie says wicker is thicker. Uh, Rosanna says, Jackie, can you ask Craig about his glasses? Your glasses, Craig. We want to know where your glasses are from. I keep switching them out today. Which ones do we want to talk about? <laughs> These are my reading glasses. If you notice, whenever you show something that plot, I have to do this number to see what it uh -huh. is. 
Probably the ones that you're wearing right now, those ones. Hang on. I don't know. I have so many pairs of glasses. It's These are Jesus Christ. Gucci. No, Celine. Celine. Um, Native of Montana says, Hi, everybody. Burke Boy, I love a man button. Just saying. <laughs> oh, that's the photo on the oh, uh, thumbnail. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, how did you first start loving Ralph Lauren? Do you remember? I'm going to, I'm, I'm dialing back. You know, I'm 50. It takes a minute. Uh -huh. uh, it hasn't been that long ago, actually. I mean, I've always wore the clothes and stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm just getting into their bags, though. I, probably like 10, 15 years ago, maybe. And I I just love the brand. I love everything they do. So even like the lower tiers, like polo, polo bags, the new one. I'm talking about new polo. Those bags are made to a higher standard and better quality than most of the high-end luxury brands that we buy. Like, really? some of that brown leather one that you just showed, the old yeah. one that I carried with you, the new polo bags on the inside are like that. They're not finished out. Oh. Yeah. It's a very well, thick have... leather like that. Yeah. Yeah. You can feel the quality of the leather. Uh, Keith says, Ralph Lauren makes great home furnishings. I love their lamps. I mean, Ralph Lauren, not Lauren, Ralph Lauren. Yeah. And I even like Lauren, Ralph Lauren. It's all good to me. I, I, I do not discriminate. I love it all. But there is a difference in quality when you step up to Ralph Home versus Lauren, Ralph Lauren. I don't think I've ever seen Ralph Home then. Ralph Home is high-end, like $600 for sheets. Yeah, no. <laughs> Ralph, Ralph uh, Home, it's right there with Hermes and, like, Hermes homeware. It's, it's expensive. So did you have their homewares before you had their bags and stuff then? Mm -hmm. I've always had their bags and their homeware stuff, and then I just, one day I was in the store and I started piddling, I guess. I don't know what you would call it. And I went over to the uh, women's section and started looking at the bags. And I was like looking at them. And actually, I think I had either a Kelly or a Birkin with me that day. And I really got to like, looking at the Ricky and like comparing. I was like, huh. <laughs> and I bought one. So that day, I think the very first day I bought a Ricky. And then like two of the um, purple label bags. And took them home and just really started inspecting them. And I was like super impressed. So I just deep dived and started getting into everything Ralph Lauren. Started like, you know, really researching him and the brand. Oh. All right. Keith says, Jackie, you know, Henry Don, Henry Don purchased Ralph Lauren furniture, top tier stuff until they closed their stores. Wow. That's pretty cool. Keith says a chair can be 15,000. I was going to leave a zero off. I have a crystal um, clock. That you, you know, like just a little crystal clock like this big. Yeah. And I think it was like six grand. But it's pretty. Well, most of the value in a clock is the inside of the clock. You don't even get to see it. Yes, Linda S., I agree. RL is underrated. I think, and that's how I think that I got this tote so cheaply for $25. Because when you look at the comparable prices, people are just looking at everything across the board. And especially with Ralph Lauren, if you look at Poshmark, Mercari, any of the of the sites, and you look at Ralph Lauren, the numbers are everywhere. They're like $25, $500, $2,000. It's like, and I think people, when they're looking, they don't know when they're posting. Because the person I bought this from, I went and looked at their profile, looked at what they were selling, and it was mostly like Pokemon cards. Yeah. Like their mom said, hey, get rid of this for me. Yeah. yeah, I kind of feel like that. That's what happened. <laughs> but have you ever, um, what was I going to say? Good Lord. Oh, so like on The Real Real, we were talking about this last night, how Ralph Lauren's so cheap on The Real Real, right? Yeah. But if you pay attention, they have like LRL bags and, or like, wait, sorry. Yeah, LRL. 
they have those bags on the real real for almost Ricky prices. I'm like, I've that seen that. Worth, well, it ain't worth a hundred dollars. The real real is weird. About I was looking on there today, and I'm like, I was looking at the Reed Karkoff listings now. There's some bags in there that said original price eighty five dollars on sale for forty five dollars. That in the same exact bag, brand new, just listed again. Oh, original price two hundred dollars on sale for. I mean, wh whoever's doing the intake and putting in the postings on the real real should be fired. <laughs> it's computers. It's a computer program. Oh, they don't have intake people anymore. This is what I read the other day. Anyway, basically, they have people that like input the pictures into the computer program and then the computer program decides what the price bracket should be for that item. That will be a problem right. because if you do not using the, I hope they're not using the same pictures they use on the real real because they're getting screwed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because the pictures are so indiscernible. Like you can't even see the corner where or any of that stuff. So I was like, I hope that's not the same pictures they're using on a computer. Well, all of the thing with the um, with the read bags, the boxer bag has two versions. So if they're just using reverse imaging and imaging to match, that's why the prices are everywhere. Um, so let's some of the chats say uh, Ralph Lauren. Hmm? I have that. Yeah, you have that bag. <laughs> we both have matching bags now, guys. He bought that bag, and I have that bag. <laughs> um, the Ralph Lauren flagship in. Amosado is beautiful. Lots of Jap Jap Japanese exclusives. Um, I've never been. I've been to Japan only in the airport. <laughs> um, MT Native asks, do you know what percentage eBay keeps of sales? I don't actually know the percentage 18%. on eBay. Isn't it 18%? It could be. I really don't know. All I know is that um, Poshmark is 20. Keith says But the thing about 13. eBay mm -hmm. the thing about mm -hmm. eBay is you have to do your own shipping. It's not included in your sale. Yeah. Whereas like Poshmark and places like that it's all rolled up into one. You are giving them 2% more but the sale, the, the shipping offsets. Well the thing about eBay too, you have to be careful because uh, sometimes sellers will say shipping is thirty dollars. Shipping is not thirty dollars. They're just saying it's thirty dollars as a way to have a, a lower markdown to make sure they meet their bottom line, whatever that is. You know. Uh, different categories have different percentages, but I'm assuming you're talking about bags. Um this is Keith. So how many rookies do you have now? Do you know? I kept eight. You kept eight? So how many did you let go of? Four. Four? I don't have any exotic Rickies anymore. I sell them all. Okay. Well, that makes sense. They don't, um, you know. She said there was a very, uh, she, said there was, she said right now there's extremely high demand for exotic Ralph Lauren uh, upper echelon bags. I said, I said, bitch, take oh. them. I can, get them. I can get them again. Go ahead. Well, that's pretty cool. Uh, probably because Ralph Lauren exotics are affordable where, I mean, compared to Hermes exotics and Dior exotics, you know. <laughs> yeah. So I've been doing a little bit of reading on Ralph Lauren. I haven't really finished much of the book because I've been a little distracted. And uh, But I did not know that Ralph Lauren, his last name, wasn't Lauren originally. Um, his family had a different name, and I can't remember. It starts with an L. Um, they're Jewish by heritage, Russian Jewish, I believe. And when they immigrated, and um, they changed... Ralph Lauren's father changed their last name to Lauren, but after they'd already been in the States and it wasn't because of the immigration, like a lot, Keith says lift shits, lift shifts. I can't, there's a lot of, there's letters in there. Yeah. S H. 
S-H-I-T-Z. And apparently his father was a muralist and a house painter. So there's actually some murals in New York with that that his father has, has done. So that artistic talent, you know, design talent is naturally um from his father. Um his great grand or his grandparents were you know he farmers. started off. Mm -hmm. Did you know Ralph Lawrence started off just exclusively trying to sell ties and he was like working in an, a closet out of a closet in an office building. I can't remember which office building no it's idea. in New York. But he was literally a, a little like two by two trying to sell t uh, ties to businessmen. That's so weird because, you know, Dooney and Burke, the Dooney, Peter Dooney started selling ties also. Bow ties, not just suit ties, but bow ties. If I remember that, and suspenders, if I can remember well, you're correctly. Well, men, though. Huh? So, you know, they're both men. So, yeah. you don't automatically say, I'm going to design women's clothing. Back, you know, back in the 50s and 60s, that just wasn't what you did. You're like, okay, yeah. so let me see if I can make some ties and sell them to. Yeah. So Brian says, I only wear Ralph Lauren, but no bags yet. You what? If you only wear Ralph Lauren clothing, but you don't have their bags yet. Okay. You got to remedy Not that true. one. Um, Keith says he changed his name because he was bullied in high school. Monica says, hi, Jolie. Hope you're recovering well. Um, hi, Julie. I, but I saw you come in. Um, in the Empire State Building is okay. Yes. In the Empire State, State Building? Building? That's yeah. where his first business. Whoa. But it was a a two, it, two wasn't, space. it wasn't an office. It was a closet. <laughs> but you know, looking at rental space, okay, there's a, in the small town I live in, which is kind of up and coming because I'm close enough to Austin that people are moving out here. Um, that there's a rental space off the town square. The town square is pretty busy. 770 square feet for $2,800 a month. I'm like, that's a lot of money for a retail space that's only 700 square feet. Not I really. mean, there's barely any parking. Huh? That's cheap nowadays. Is it? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. How much stuff do you have to sell? To, I mean, it used to be a, a photographer studio, so I don't know. Yeah, Austin's very expensive. Yeah, but, but there's like no parking. So high. That's why everything yeah. is getting more expensive to buy because they're having so much overhead to cover. Mm -hmm. Well, like there's a lot of Austin, like old timey Austin kind of like been there forever. Everybody loves it, but it's a burger joint and burgers only cost so much. But the rent that property is sitting on is so mm -hmm. valuable that they're they're closing these these are closing establishments because there was this one place called Thread Gills. It's like this known place in Austin, and it was something like thirty thousand a month in rent. And he says, "I can't sell enough hamburgers. There's not enough beer or hamburgers I can keep selling to keep this." You know, it's cheaper to buy land and build your own building now than it is to pay rent it really is yep i would agree with that and so would all the builders since they keep doing that uh, especially housing because we have a lot of housing and i was looking at the rent right now my mortgage is cheaper than the rents and it's on there's a lot more space but then it's not like you can just go up and walk in and get a mortgage either so yeah, but, you know you have to go through the same you the same you just you have to go through the same credit checks and everything to rent an apartment in an upscale apartment building than you do to buy a house. It's just the the amount of money you pay down up front is different. Anyway, Keith says a friend of owns a small cafe in New York City and pays eighteen thousand a month for twelve hundred square feet. Wow. He says he's thankful to his landlord for giving him such a good price. I'm sure. Did, Oh, that blows my mind. I just, I don't, you know, I where I work, the budgets are like in the millions. I work for the state, right? So it still hurts my brain sometimes when I'm thinking of budgets and it's like, it's like, how much? <laughs> oh, and right now nobody, well, I won't, never mind, moving on. <laughs> So today was a good work day. I had, um, I was actually happy today. I wasn't 
sad and mopey. Um, I still have friends finding out about my dog and they're texting me. I have some co-workers who don't know yet, but uh, it's spring break week. So it was like a ghost town. <laughs> the office had like no people. But how is, um, is it a touristy thing? Does you people go to Memphis or your state like for spring break or do they leave it? Because apparently people come to Texas. <laughs> Most people here got go to Florida and uh, it, yeah. there's nothing here to do for spring break. <laughs> Keith is Keith is asking you, Craig, what is your hair routine? Do you have a hair routine? <laughs> and how long is your hair? I don't know how long it is. Chest it's length. Long. Um, it takes six hours to make it blonde, which is why that this is here. But anyway, uh, I just wash it and brush it. Oh, I have to blow dry it because of all the, you know, when your hair gets long, you have knots and you have to like sit there and blow dry and get all the knots out and all that. Yeah, it, it probably well, won't take care of that. Craig, Carol Patterson's asking if you could, if they could have a bag tour, please. Um, I think we'll have to wait for Craig's own um, channel for that. <laughs> I don't know that that will ever. Even when I do have a channel, I don't think that I will ever do like a bag um, collection. Sure. <laughs> for one, it would take too long, and for two. It's one thing to bring them back, you know, out two or three at a time and show them, but like, it's like it's a privacy thing for me. I'm sorry. I don't mean to. It's this. It's nothing personal. It's just a privacy thing for me. I did um, bring the birth when ask somebody to me. Wait, say it again. I brought the birthday gifts that you sent me to show everybody. Yeah, I sent Craig some birthday gifts, and they're next to him. Um, Linda says, please do a tour of your bags and are you ever going to do a vlog sale? If you're talking to Craig, the answer would be no. If you're talking to me, we've already done those. Yeah. Um, I just sold like, um, what, like 50, 60% of my bags. Yeah, he did. He, he downsized. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, whew. yeah, so show them your birthday gifts that I sent you. I mean, they've seen them before. Okay, she sent me this one because she knows I wanted the, I love the color. Green. It's too small, but he still, he'll still use it. <laughs> no, I'm going to use it. I'm working it out. This one, which for me, this is not a, a bag like you would traditionally carry it. I'm going yeah. to, wait a minute. This worked the other day. Watch what Oh, there we go. For me, oh, it's a clutch. That's that's pretty brilliant. And huh. I love this. I love this detail. He he picked that out, guys. But it was during his no buy, you know, three months. So I bought it and sent it to him. <laughs> and the pistol is stance. And this is the bag I stole out from under him and didn't know it. So of, I gave it to him. One of them. <laughs> one of them. <laughs> Travis does not like this bag. Huh? Travis doesn't like it. He said, oh, hey. He said, what is this? Studs? The, he said, the, the I, I, makes I, it so cool. I said, they're studs. He said, what are you trying to be, Jesus? I was like, no. It's just a bag with studs on it. He doesn't get it. He just he just doesn't get it. Oh, I, I think that's hilarious. I thought that was a really cool edgy bag, and he's like, "Oh no, I don't like that." I do too. I mean, it's not overly edgy, but like for me, it's a little edgy. You know what I mean? Yeah, for me, it was too. I was like, "Whoa!" Ryan says, "I'm with oh, Travis." I just, I just he's like this studs. massive thing out again too. Yep, it's so much more size appropriate with you. It's like it's fitting. It's a beautiful color. <laughs> it's so floppy. I just love it. That's all I brought. That's a lot. You know. No, so we were just talking about um 
Ralph Lauren and our love for it. So I started loving Ralph. I, I've always, as I said, I've always liked the clothing. Um, my dad always wore it. Um, but I never had a bag until this past November because I kept talking to Craig about it. And he had mentioned, you know, I said, you know, I really do love Ralph Lauren. Why don't I have any of their bags? So I bought some and I haven't stopped buying them. <laughs> I keep buying them. I bought another one today. I didn't tell James. <laughs> one of the ones I sent you? No, no, this is actually something I found off Mercari. Um, and it was a, oh. it was, so they, they offered it for $7. I'm like, let me rescue this bag. <laughs> it's like, yes, I'll take your bag for $7. Um, All right. uh, Keith says that travel bag is giving Alexander Kraft vibes. If you want to see a man who is, the literal epitome of Ralph Lauren, he is. I don't know who Alexander Kraft is. Um, is he an actor or something? Um, James. Oh, yeah. Don't tell James. It's okay. It's okay. Um, is he not he'll know. He, he is. He's sitting. He's sitting right there, but he can't hear me. Well, he can probably hear me, but he's not trying to hear me. <laughs> He's like, whatever. I'm killing alien bugs. Leave me alone. Um, what's the game, James? Helldivers. See, he can hear me just fine. <laughs> but we, we bought want? our vacation tickets today. So, <laughs> so he we were talking with our travel agent and we bought universal tickets. Uh, he bought universal tickets. I'm not going. And then um, Universal has some really good um rides if you like rides some of the best rides but it's not as good as disney world when it comes to merchandising because disney's a juggernaut they know what they're doing cleveland or cloverleaf bag says hi jackie and craig hi cloverleaf so craig cannot read the chat it's not working for him they're being cranky so i'm trying to read for everybody so mt native says yes craig there's the bun they like your hair bun um I could never do that. When I had long hair, um, the bun like it that, looks, it just it looks me. good. It looks good dead on, but if I turn uh -huh. sideways, you're going to see all kinds of lumps and bumps, and it's going to look. It, you'll say that it's not. It's not all that. <laughs> see, look. <laughs> so I really liked um, Ralph Lauren perfume before I even had any of the clothing I had to perfume. And it wasn't even polo. I don't I do have you know, did you see that they came out with a brand new polo fragrance today? Mm -hmm. Um it's a brand new one and I haven't I, I was like, oh well I don't know. Um in Korea they call that Okay, I'm not reading that a lot, Keith. <laughs> but uh yeah, you'll have to go back and read the chats. Okay. Um, Jackie, while James is at Universal, you should do an outlet run right down the road from Universal. I'm um, actually Angela. We're gonna do a meetup in um, probably in Disney Springs and with friends. You're invited because I know you're in the area. Dee's invited. She's in the area, and I also have friends that actually live in Orlando. So I'm only spending two days at the park. Um, so it's um, I'm going to Epcot and one day at animal kingdom so i'm not going to i'm doing a lot of hanging out with friends yeah not in a park because i don't do rides so it's a whole lot of money to get in to spend more money <laughs> i was gonna ask you like like you love disney so much but you don't ride rods so what is it that you mm -hmm. love that's oh, that well so disney uh, Honestly, I don't have to go back to the parks ever. James loves the parks. I love the memories I have of Disney and of the shows, the movies, the cartoons, all that stuff. But in the parks, it's like a fantasy land. It's like you've never seen a cleaner place. There's no trash anywhere. There's no dead leaves. I mean, I don't know how much they pay their gardeners, but they pay them a lot. It just is... This, unreal utopia that does not exist in life but here there's an army of people making this look like a utopia um one of the things that walt disney said was people come here happy we just have to keep them happy or some such you know 
version of that. Um, Keith says, did you buy the John Paul Gutierrez fragrance today, Jackie? Um, I bought that actually a couple months ago, uh, Keith. And But my favorite perfume from Ralph Lauren isn't actually their polo. It is uh, Romance. I had a couple uh -huh. bottles of that. I've used it a lot. Yeah, uh, Latina says the atmosphere. Disney Disney World, if you go into the parks, it is really, especially if you're with children, um, is really just is amazing to watch their little faces see Mickey Mouse because they think Mickey Mouse is real. Uh, I know Mickey Mouse is a man in a suit. <laughs> Huh? I took my kids two or three times, but I, I just never yeah. really got into it, so I didn't know. Well, I think it's honestly, it's just the fantasy of it. It's just the fantasy of being in this perfectly, man, I personally, I, Jackie, I like the things more than I like, like, I like merchandising. I like, I like buying things, like shopping. I like the, I don't do rides. I've never done, I really have never done rides. Um, but it's just the fantasy of it, you know, growing up watching it. If I didn't grow up watching Disney, I, I don't think I would care. Um, well, so you, but we I, talked about that. I, I wasn't able to, I was not allowed to watch Disney movies growing up. So when I took my kids mm -hmm. to Disney, it just really wasn't a big deal. Yeah. Because, I mean, I grew up indoctrinated to all of the characters and all, and I know all the movies and we knew all the songs. And so when you go and see it, well, I have to wear a Mickey Mouse shirt. Um, so for me, it was one of the things that was allowed. I was allowed to watch Disney, but I'm not a princess fan, guys. I'm not, yeah, every girl who, um, I knew a girl who was Cinderella. Um, I have been, I have never been to Disney, any Disney parks since Jeanette. Uh, Latina says romance was my my signature scent for scent years ago. Yeah, I've stopped wearing uh, romance, but I still have some left. It's one of my, it's a light, neutral, not offensive, great to wear at the office perfume. Yeah. Um, I was just remembering that about the gum. Me neither, Jeanette. Yeah, so. I had gone, I don't think a lot of people have been to Disney because it's expensive. It's very expensive. So a lot of people who do go, it's their one time they've gone. It's the one one big family event. So the staff there make it, um, they try very hard to be very customer service oriented and to have people be happy. Because, you, I mean, nothing's worse than going on a, going on a vacation and then, trashing it when you're done because of some customer service issue you know nancy says my husband used to go all the time he's from los angeles keith how much is a one-day ticket on the special hmm, right now we paid a hundred dollars a day for four-day tickets so it's about 460 with tax that's with the special so and that's only if you buy four four-day tickets yeah you know. Mac Max says I'm 49, but when I'm feeling down, I watch Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast is a great, fun. I like singing the songs. Um, yes, Keith. Uh, Disneyland, Disney, anything is expensive, um, especially going into the park. So, when did you go last, Craig? Over 10 years ago. Oh, really? Well, like That's probably cool. like 15, 15 years ago, I would say. But your son's 15. So what was he, an infant? Are you freezing on everybody's end or is it just mine? No, oh, it would just be yours. Hey, guys, am I freezing at all? Okay, as long as it's just me and nobody else. We're a lot of, of Floridians in the chat like talking you're about right now for me. No. Yeah, no, it's just you. You're back. Okay, yay. Um, no, you're not freezing. Yes, yeah, so it must be the connection again. We are in storm this I don't know how it's where you're at, but where I'm at it's rainy and stormy. Mm -hmm. Or it was. It's probably coming and going at a whim. Native says, I hear feedback from Jackie's auto I, audio. I don't know what's causing the feedback. I am so sorry. Hmm. 
Okay, Craig, you talk. <laughs> what do you want me to say? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Do you, do you ever watch Yoda style? She says to her husband all the time, say something. Yeah. He goes, what do you want me to say? He, yeah. Um, rank, no. okay, rank, rank your, <laughs> your brands of your favorites. Because I know Ralph Lauren's up there, but where does that compare with your other brands? What's the first one you... Well, you're not actually buying anything right now. So I know it's LV, Hermes, and Ralph. So where would you put that in a lineup? Well, Hermes and Chanel. Is probably you love Chanel. One. Yeah. Hermes is probably number one. Um, Chanel is number two. Easy. Not because of quality, but it's number two. Um, probably been... been Probably Ralph Lauren will be number three, and then Louis Vuitton. And Celine, I like old Celine, but I can't stand mm -hmm. their Celine. Really? So oh, Keith had guessed like Hermes, LV, Ralph, and the row, and he would be wrong because you were. It was Hermes, Chanel. Who was your third one? I don't remember now. Hermes, Chanel, Ralph, Louis Vuitton. Okay. Here's the thing with the row. I'm new to the row when it comes to leather goods and bags. I've been buying their clothes for you know years, but I they're when it comes to bags, I'm new to that, so I I, I can't count that. Because I'm gonna tell you, I was not a big fan of those two Margos that Travis bought me for my birthday. Really? Wait, no. what? It was it, the quality, the the way the leather felt. And it uh -huh. could just be the kind of leather that I chose, but the leather did not feel good. How many leathers does that Margo bag come in? It comes in, it's, well, they, they have smooth leather, then they have pebble leather, and then some leche, leche leather. I don't know. I got one in the smooth, and I got one in the pebble. The pebble was stiff as a board. And I even let it took it out of the box and let it sit for a couple of days, and then I did the whole, uh, you know, wiggle. Yeah, she never loosened up. And then the smooth one, it had scratches all over it. And they were both a fifteen, like a like a similar to a Birkin forty, but they read much smaller for some mm. reason. Like the hot, it just looks smaller. We boxed them so, up and sent them back. Are you over the Margot then? No, I'm on the waiting list for the 17 because I'm willing to try it again. Okay. And I did keep the, um, I kept the, uh, the inside, inside out. out. Still, mm -hmm. I'm looking for it in black because right now the row is not producing the inside out. So I'm, I'm on the lookout for a black one. Well, I would say you have more black bags than anything in your collection. That's not my fault. Like every day when I go to look, I'm like, Everything we can look at everything today, but black. We're not going to look at black shoes. We're not going to look at black bags. Nothing. Three seconds in, I'm like, oh, that's a beautiful black bag. I need that. I can't help. It's like it. me and blue. <laughs> James, it's like, I, how many blue bags do you need? Uh, this one and that one and every one I see. <laughs> I make a valid, valiant effort. I just don't. I can't follow through. I can't. I think it's because of Chanel, because to me, when I buy Chanel, it, nine times out of ten, it's going to be black, because Chanel is black. Like, it's just what I think of when I think of Chanel. I think it's a black bag with gold hardware. Yeah, that's true. That's what I think of, too. Yeah. Um, Michael asks, what's the most you'd spend on a bag? He says he would spend $5 or five pounds on a coffee, but 5000 on a bag. I think it's... oh. How much is too much? I won't spend five pounds on a coffee, but five thousand on a bag is fine. Well, the thing is, it's because you're comparing coffee to handbags. Coffee is temporary. Handbags is tangible and lasts much, much longer. And the most I personally have ever spent on a handbag, I think, was two thousand six hundred dollars. And I ended up giving that trading that handbag away to any BLV. I won't say the most expensive handbag I've ever bought, but if it's over $200,000, that's excessive. 
Well, the the other thing too is I might have spent twenty six hundred dollars for a bag, but I will never do that again. Um, after owning the bag, I realized it wasn't for me. I'm like, if I was willing to, I didn't love it. I mean, I loved it. I loved the idea of it. I loved the look of it. I loved the print on it. I loved everything about it. It was an LV. It was a current style. It was it was the, the Diane bag, the one I traded her with. I love that bag, but at the end of the day, it wasn't working for me and i was just like no i'm done so my my actual comfort level for a bag is 200 i will spend 500 for my rickies but those are very you know i do spend 300 on my dooney bags the ones that are disney because of the uh, themes i don't want to spend 300 on them but that's how much they cost and then um I'll spend five hundred for the Ricky, and that's the upper echelon of of my comfort zone. Um, so this bag, I've had this bag huh? since twenty ten, right? It's it's what? a maxi, a maxi double flap. I think I paid like sixty five hundred. I think is what I paid for this. This bag. No. Do you know how much this bag is today? More than that. Thousand dollars. How much? Fifteen thousand dollars. <laughs> not it, not including taxes. That that's that's just basic price. In fourteen and years. Okay, wow. I'm a little off. It's like fourteen something, but it's fifteen thousand dollars. <laughs> and I don't buy Chanel anymore because I don't think it's worth it. Yeah. If you watched Tanner Leatherstein, he did a new video today about Chanel. <laughs> And he said um, about the what Chanel's doing with their business model about making it so expensive to make it harder, essentially, to get, to bring up the illusion of exclusivity. Although, is it exclusive if it's the same bag that they've been making for 20 years? I think you know? it's stupid. Who gives a rat's Who cares? If they have the money, sell them the bag. Yes. <laughs> Hermes, I see it's a different game. Because when to me, Chanel's trying to be Hermes. They want to be mm -hmm. that exclusivity thing. Hermes has been doing it a long time. And it with Hermes, yes, some of it is ex exclusivity, but also every bag is handmade. Therefore, they can only produce so many bags. Whereas Chanel is not handmade and has not, I don't know if it's ever been handmade, but this bad boy was made on a sewing machine. Yes, the person was in the sewing machine, but she did not stitch it by hand. <laughs> um, so Keith says, I feel like spending 2000 for an LV is too much, but 10000 for an Hermes isn't. Make it make sense. I don't think it does, because so, so much of these luxury brands is the is the branding itself. It's the name and the brand history that you're buying. Um but here's the thing, Louis Vuitton has just as just as much history as it more than Chanel and just as much as Hermes, really. It's mm -hmm. a, it's all about it's subliminal. It's the, you get fed these messages all the time, all day long, especially with social media and the internet now, it's nonstop. So in your brain, it's easier to make sense to pay ten thousand for an Hermes bag that you know is never gonna lose value versus a Louis Vuitton bag that you, it's like a new car. You're going to lose 500 when you walk out of the store. Mm -hmm. it, it just is what it is. I don't know. I, I think that's also the perception of Ralph Lauren too, because it runs through so many different levels and tiers. People, most people are just used to the Ralph Lauren that they see in TJ Maxx or Ross or on the discount store. So they really don't know they're, I didn't know that there was levels to Ralph Lauren. I thought there was Ralph Lauren and then just Polo. I didn't know there was other echelons to Ralph Lauren because I'd never seen it. You know? I didn't even know it existed. I'm like, what is a Ricky bag? And now I'm like, I love the Ricky bag. Did I tell you about my my YouTuber that I got into it with about over Ralph Lauren? No. Okay, I won't say her name. I still follow her. But I, I refuse to ever comment, share her videos ever again. I do still watch them, and I like them because I realize the work that goes into a video, right? Mm -hmm. But one time she was talking about quiet luxury, which mm -hmm. 
whatever. I've been, I've always dressed that way. It doesn't it doesn't matter to me one way or the other. But she was like, tell me some brands if I didn't mention them. So I put in the description, you know, I put in the comment, well, Ralph Lauren, and I, I spilt my, I said my piece. This lovely woman comes back, oh yeah, there's something so quiet about a giant polo pony running across a shirt. So you know me, I'm just as kind as I can be. I said, bitch, I didn't say nothing about polo. I said, you being in fashion should know that there are multi-tiers to that brand and not just think I'm talking about polo. Have a good yeah. day. Mm -hmm. Because she's in fashion. How do you not know that Ralph Lauren has nine product lines? How do you not know that? I, well, okay. If you're in fashion, you really should know that. Right, right. I mean, she works in fashion. Even before she stopped her regular job and became a YouTuber full-time, she mm -hmm. was a she worked in fashion so mm -hmm. she knows that she just wanted to be snotty so i got snotty back mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i'm a very nice person i really am but don't push don't push <laughs> uh rael says hey just stop hey, by while doing housework oh no that was actually don left the tour hi don uh there's hey, a don. lot of people in our chat so there's like 46 people watching um, I can't even see how many people can't... see her. Well, I don't know how many um, uh, thumbs up we have, but we have 46 in, in here, and um, if y'all could thumb up the live, please. And Craig cannot see the chat, so... Um, I'm sorry, I tried. It just did not work out. <laughs> um, who did it, Craig? Let me... I'm good. Winnie wants to know what to do. Text after the, after the live, Winnie. After the live... <laughs> I still we, love we her. Mm -hmm. I, I still love her and I appreciate her content. And I still mm -hmm. like her videos because if I'm going to watch anybody's video, even if I can't stand you, if I watch your video, I'm going to thumbs up the video to show that I appreciate what you put into it. But you will never see me comment, like, or sh I mean, comment or share anything she ever puts out again. I have, I have a guest. Watson? Yep. Come on. You can do it. You can. You can do it. What? There's no food over here, dude. There's no food. He thinks there's food. There's no food. He's getting all kinds of extra hugs. Yes. Yes. Where's your his, Chanel? Uh, I love his Facebook smile that they have. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. was this. this this photo this morning when we were like, okay, okay, I, I, I get it. You're like, there's no food, I don't care. Well, well if you didn't wiggle so much. <laughs> She's probably in her bed. She never gets up unless I say that T-R-E-A-T. -E That's the only reason she ever gets out of bed. How old is she? Um, seven? She, I think she's seven this year. Oh. <laughs> she's an Applehead Chihuahua, right? A miniature apple head chihuahua, yeah. Yeah, that's that's uh, who we're talking about. So Craig's fur baby. We have the big giant demon cat, and we have the awesome Chanel. <laughs> Anybody wants a cat, I will UPS it to you immediately. For free. The cat's name is Malcolm, but I always call him Demon Cat because, come on. <laughs> we, we adopted him because uh, the people that had him were they took him to the vet to have him put to sleep because they didn't want to deal with it. And Wait, what? Like, they took him to the vet to have him euthanized because they, he was tearing their house up and they didn't want to deal with it. So the vet's a friend of mine and he called and he was like, hey, you want to come and adopt this cat? I was like, hell no, I don't want no cat. You know, I don't want no cat. He convinced me to come save the cat. Good deeds. That's all I'm going to say. Good deeds. This is when you ask your vet friend, like, vet friend, why don't you keep the cat? In his defense, he does have a lot of animals. He does, like, most, like, when a lot of, um, all the strays and stuff that get brought in there, he does keep a lot of them <laughs> on his farm. So, Winnie says she has, uh, Nausea from Ozempic. So, guys, I'm actually on Manjaro, and we were talking about this. So, it does differently than the Ozempic. 
So I don't have the symptoms that Winnie has. And I think what are you on the Ozempic or Manjaro, Craig? Ozempic. Yeah. It's so his wonderful. It's misery. It's wonderful it's if the goal is not to eat. <laughs> so let me tell you what I did today right before this happened, right? So I told Travis, I said, I really, really, he was on his way home. I said, I really want something sweet. Like I just mm -hmm. wanted something sweet. He brought me a honey bun. I ate Ooh. it. I'm regretting. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. carbs. Yeah. You're like, it makes me feel bad. I don't want this. But sugar is an addiction. Um, Wendy says, I cannot eat tonight. Um, yeah, so guys, I've actually been on Manjaro for a year. So for me, I ramped up very slowly. Um, so I haven't really lost a lot of weight. And it's actually my doctor's really surprised. Like, how is it that you're not losing weight? I have a lot of syndrome some things. It was very funny. I actually looked up menopause symptoms because I'm 44, right? And I started laughing. And James is like, what are you, what's wrong? He goes, look at this list. And he's like, uh, okay. And I'm like, yeah, that was me since I've been age 12. <laughs> I have a hormonal uh, syndrome. <laughs> I'm like, everything on this list that you say you go through, I've been through my whole life. So this isn't going to help. But my sister's on Manjaro, and she's, she says she doesn't have the same side effects as I do. And, and my uh, Michaela does. Michaela's on Ozempic, too, and she has the same side effects. The the, no, the constant being sick mm -hmm. and not. So I think Manjaro is just not as strong. I think so. Uh -huh. Ask my doctor. Um, because um, I have, well, I see her in a couple weeks, I think, because it's been doing really well with my blood sugars now, but um, I'm at the end of what modern medicine can do for my health. So at this point, it's just your genetics, you know. Uh, so anyway can you can we tell um craig texted me earlier today can we talk about what you text me today about the timu hall you watched or going to watch or sure of course i mean i i've I, I messaged her and told her i everything i told you i told her so it's fun what did she did she text back she hasn't yet but she's in australia you know so it's there's a time <laughs> difference Sandy Var uh, Vardy says hi to us. Sandy, she, uh, Craig cannot read the chat, so I'm going to try and read as many as I can. So, can I say her name? Sure. So, Craig was telling me what has happened. No, you have to say it the exact way I said it. Oh, no. Um, I can't remember the exact way you said it. I can read it, though. I said, what? Um, the WTF is going on. Yeah. <laughs> You want me to tell the story? So, you, okay, you tell them. I text her and said, WTF is happening in the world right now. I do not understand how a luxury, and I mean luxury YouTuber of over 10 years is doing a Timu haul. What the hell? It makes zero sense. Make it make sense. So Jerusha has a Timu haul coming tomorrow, guys. Tonight, actually, tonight. And I'm like, wait, Jerusha Couture is wearing Timu anything? So, okay, but Rayel, why can't you buy from Timu anymore? Oh, Debbie says sponsored. That's what Craig said. Craig was like, I, that's Excuse exactly me? what I, I, the, I DM'd her and I said, I said, this is my exact word. I said, bitch, how much do they give you? They had to give you a lot. And she's holding Chanel bags with Timu shirts. Beg your pardon? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, the chats, Craig, the chats are like, Jerusa? Jerusha plus Timu? Like, what? <laughs> it's, on, it's already on her Instagram. You can see like a, a clip of the video that she's going to put out tonight. But yeah, she's wearing Timu clothes. And they're not even bad looking. Like, it looks it, it looks very similar to a Chanel aesthetic. The way yeah, she's, that's what she's the wearing. Thing. It's photo perfect so is she and so is pretty little things so is all these other brands photo wise they're great but quality wise when you touch them when you feel them you're like uh i wear timu clothes i love timu clothes but i'm i 
I'm not carrying it with a Chanel bag. <laughs> I, like I told you, I've never bought anything from Timu. I, I'm, I'm not, and it's nothing to do with, I think I'm too good for Timu. I cannot wear polyester. I have eczema, and it makes me break out in hives. Mm -hmm. It's just a dead, I'm being dead honest. And that's fine. And maybe, she, maybe she's going to be doing it to the angle of, you know, if you want this look, but you can't afford it kind of thing, or if you want this look for less, maybe. I, I can't wait to see, but you know that that check has got to be like burning hot. Like it has to be many, many, many zeros. For her to do it. And you know, you'll never see her wear those clothes outside that video. I bet you she don't even have them right now. I, I guarantee you they're already gone. She and has the, the video she has not even gone live yet. And I guarantee you they're gone. I love her, but I want to know. When Winnie says, how many innocent polyesters had to die to make that haul? <laughs> oh, oh, oh my gosh. See, I don't have a problem with polyester, but my twin sister thinks polyester is akin to the devil. She does. She hates it. She can't stand it. She won't sleep on, um, uh, what's it called? microfiber sheet she won't buy microfiber she won't buy polyester she goes out of her way to look for linen um and cotton she will not wear poly anything and it's it's just a preference and i'm like i don't care you know i have eczema especially during the winter it's really really sensitive and if if something is too um what is the word you know how polyester has that um scratchy feeling anyway like my eczema will flare up like nobody's business. I used to want to get those uh, barefoot dreams that was called the real mm -hmm. plushy blankets. I can't. They're polyester. Oh. Um. So it says. Um. Rayel says I think the app is compromised, and it wanted another authentication on my card. Oh, so she had a problem with her. Timu. So I've always also, purchased through Timu through through PayPal, so I don't know. Um, you hear me? Linda Linda S Linda S says I wear Walmart and carry Chanel. <laughs> so, well, I don't own a Chanel, so I can't. And Walmart has the good clothes. I'm sorry, they do have actually cotton clothes. Um, Y'all, there's nothing wrong. I know. With I'm, a sh I'm just saying it's Jerusha. Jerusha. <laughs> I used to work on people from the burn unit, so don't wear polyester. So yeah, polyester is flammable and it melts. It melts. It doesn't. Yeah, it's not. It's not as a textile. It's it's not good. Uh, Keith says my feelings with anything is if it's too good to be true, it's too good to be true. Ain't no way you can get something that will last that for longer than one month at five dollars. That's true. That's honestly true. I have a lot of clothing from, from Timu, but I don't wear it every day. It's dresses, and they're polyester dresses. Um, and polyester actually is a really strong textile, but I'm not saying it's luxury. I'm not saying it feels great, but it looks good, and I'm fine wearing it. Um, Rael says, I just is going to go to Shein until they shut down the My Credit Card too. Uh, Rael, so Shein and Timu are the same company. They're up, they're owned by the same parent company now, and they're both uh, they're both have lawsuits going on right now. So, well, I'm sure you know. Um, there you go. Um, they're sharing too much you, of your personal information, supposedly. Well, that's what I tell people. Is like you're the you're the product. Your your search history, your browsing history, what you're purchasing, what's in your cart, not in your cart, all that stuff is is data. You're the data. You're the research. You're there. That's all it is. I mean, that's what they're doing. When it's too good to be true, it's too good to be true. Uh, not just with the price per item. You are now the target audience, and they're looking for ways to make it so that you are consuming more of their product. That's why there's games on there and there's all these little got you things and oh let's do this and, and you can get this if I if you do this or if you do this you get this for free and there's nothing free. You know nothing is free. But you know? what I understand is why is Timu in trouble for it when Facebook gives your stuff away too or sells it? Because people are men at Timu. 
It's just one more thing to go for. Keith says, I don't care about personal information. I just don't like buying junk. I like to buy things seldomly and few as possible, but buy the best quality I can afford. Keith has a very good outlook in life that I wish I shared more of. <laughs> I got it. Oh, Chanel! She's adorable. My pug is down here now. It's like, yes. It's like, I'm saying hello to another dog. She's like, how dare you? Um, She's miniature here, but look at her belly. There's nothing miniature about that. <laughs> uh, that's what they say about TikTok to Jackie. Um, I had 10 rep, Timu reps. Um, her name, yes. Her, yes. The, her, Craig's puppy dog is Chanel. And his only cat is named Malcolm. Um, Angela says Chinese government controls the company that owns yeah absolutely um, what a cute puppy says Bri uh, and oh my god your dog makes me cry I had a twin I miss her so bad says Winnie BLV so apparently she also had an apple head chihuahua um, I had a black and white doggy named Coco a lot of people I know have had Pets and dogs specifically named Coco or Chanel. Uh, my friend had two bulldogs. One was Chanel, and one was Louie. Yeah, and I think it's I think it's adorable. I think it's very clever. Of course, her mu I mean, <laughs> my favorite dog name actually my friend had, and it was um, Hong Hao, and that means emperor, and Hao Hao means. Uh, Empress, so it was Hong Hao and Hao Hao, and they were both Chinese Pekingese. They were so cute. They were the cutest little dogs, and it's like I just loved it. Like, I should name my my dog Hong Hao and Hao Hao, and 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 James was like, no, nah. no. I'm like, okay, fine. <laughs> Keith, you should care about your personal info. That's how identity theft happens, says Angela. I had a Coco Chanel, says Winnie. My dog name is Patsy and Hogna. Pet C hog, hog, H O G hog and nog, hog nog. Oh, I think that's not what okay. I heard. Yeah. <laughs> um, I had two, um, I had two chives, Craig. My girl's three pounds. Um, and the other's four. Three pound chihuahua? Or am I reading that right? Am I reading that right? I don't know. Um, she used to weigh two and a half pounds, but now she's up to five. But again, her belly drags the ground as she walks. Oh, no. Because um, she eats and goes to bed. Eats and goes to bed. She doesn't do anything else. Really? But she's only four. Um, no, 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 she's eight. Oh, eight. Eight. Yeah. Huh. She's. Watson, I have nothing for you. He's just looking at me like, where's my food, Mom? You've already eaten food. And we might be spoiling him a little bit because Milo's missing, so he's getting a lot of extra treats, so I think he's thinking he deserves an extra treat. Yeah. Give that baby a treat. Honey, give, give Watson a treat. <laughs> give Watson a treat. But He's grieving too. You have to remember that. When you're in the next pausing section, he's looking at me so sadly. Now he's looking at you sadly. <laughs> Amelia. <clears throat> of course you do. I'm just being oh sarcastic. Um I've give them an extra treat on one day. Um oh Lisa, I'm so sorry to tell you this, but Milo is no longer with us. He had um acute kidney failure and we had to have him euthanized on Tuesday. It's a really bad week. Super bad week. <laughs> and uh we're still um, uh, today I didn't okay, I did cry, but only cried once, you know. So that was that was good. That was that was good for me not to be all mopey and sad. So it's been a really rough week, guys. Um they feel entitled to that at the same same time every day for the rest of their life. Yes. Daylight savings time to your pets mean nothing. <laughs> They're like, excuse me, I need my breakfast. <laughs> Playing a rainbow at the rainbow bridge. Yep. Yeah. So I think I'm going to cry. Yes, Lisa, it's rough. And here's the thing. I have two months worth of videos already loaded that were recorded when Milo was still living. So you see Milo, but he's not. 
in in life with us now. Be right back. I've got to let Miss Chanel out to the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, Don. It was. It was. Been, it's been really rough. So, um, <clears throat> I know there's a little bit of feedback. I'm not sh quite sure why, but um, I have a little Watson who wants pets. I like to think my pets are all reincarnated back to me the next one. Oh, that's cool. Um, so, Craig, because you know I can talk for, like, hours. Um, whenever you're tired and done with this, you can bow out. It's okay. I'm fine until my battery already... dies. I'm good. Okay, cool. Because we've been here for, like, an hour, over an hour. Does, does anybody have any questions for for Craig while we're, while I'm thinking about it? Um so I have a question have for everybody to... that I can't see what they're saying, but I have a question. Yeah. Instead of me doing videos for my channel, I uh -huh. was wondering how everybody would feel about lives. Oh, like lives. lives. Because I don't want to edit. I don't want to do all that crap. No, I'm totally down with the lives. A lot of people like lives. And I'm not going to yeah. pay somebody to do it until I have a yeah. reason. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think... Um... Lisa asked, any more Rickies for Jackie? No, I, I, I'm looking at a couple, but their prices have gone up, if you've noticed, on the Relove, Relove market. And so I'm going to wait for a while to buy another Ricky. Um, so most people say they would like the lives. They think lives are great. Latina says both. But I think you can just do lives because live in the well, moment. You can like, do a live and like have a specific topic. And mm -hmm. we just interact over the topic. And I can have people on and all that. I just, I'm not going to, I know if I have to edit that video and do all that work, it ain't going to happen. I'm never going to do it. Yeah. Well, I think with YouTube, you have to have 50 subscribers before you can go live. So guys, go there. subscribe to Craig's YouTube and then he can... Just do yeah, lives. I have 30 subscribers. I don't know what's going on. I told everybody to come subscribe and I'd make a video, but nobody has. You hear that? Do you guys hear that? There's 56 people in this video. Go subscribe to Birkin Boy. His his um YouTube is Birkin Boy 3976. <clears throat> so we have to have 50 subscribers to even start having lives. Um you I have to go subscribe. Yay, Nancy. Thank you. Thank you, Pixie. Thank you. So you do have a bunch of subscribers. Keith, I didn't even know you had a YouTube. Well, we all have a YouTube account. He just doesn't have any videos on his channel yet. So if you just go and find him, it's a little hard to find him. You actually do have to do Berkeley 3976 and you'll find him and then you just subscribe. And then when he can when he has 50 subscribers, he can he can start doing lives. Thank you. YouTube Nancy. is strange. Um, I have like 11 when I subscribed he had like 11 from out farm out your editing <laughs> when he says farm out the editing I, I don't I don't edit guys I will but I'm not going to pay someone to edit a video that I'm not getting making money on I'm sorry that's just the way I roll mm -hmm. hey beautiful steps I'm happy you're in here she says she's been your sub for a while um Linda S says you need six me sixteen more subscribers. Um, Mim Beauty and Luxury, um, I need your guys, please. Oh, the editing guy. Yeah, she Winnie has an editing guy. Yeah. <clears throat> so I do not edit anything. Again, if I had to edit anything, um, oh yeah, sure. Let me do that real quick. Let me add the ink. I have. Oh wait a minute. That's his. His. Let me find the link real quick, and I will. Thank you, D. Do, 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 I'm getting a little do, drop down. Do. People are subscribing. So. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Let's see. What was it? While you're doing that, hey, Winnie, I'm going to tell you, these right here saved my life when it comes to constant nausea. The, the sugar-free Tic Tacs, it, it keeps it in check. 
Plus, I'm getting eight sweets without eating six. Happy. Okay, oops, let me get back to the stream. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Pasting into the oh. chats and starring it. I apologize for the feed feedback. I'm still getting used to this. Yeah, you you have a bunch of subscribers now. Pretty cool. Um, I just ate two Altoids. <laughs> But I no, kind of like that your videos aren't edited all the time. It it makes it makes the nausea go away. Really? Well, it doesn't go away, but it makes it bearable. Oh. Well, it makes it tolerable, right? Um, I hate being nauseous. It's 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 not good. I think you have a fan base. You just hit fifty subscribers. <laughs> well, I guess we'll have but, a live next week, people. Yeah. Ah! Oh, it didn't. Mark, well, he, she goes, what did me in was half a pita bread, whole grain that made you feel, yeah, see, I he can't eat carbs either. Carbs. <laughs> yeah. That honey bun's about to kick my tail, I'm telling you. I know better, but I wanted it. I've done that too. But for me, it's pretty much uh, thank you, thank you, Debbie, for reminding me. I keep forgetting I can do that, that I can actually interact in my own chat. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so we're we're doing all of these happy congratulations signs because now you, they want your, they want you to go live is what I'm seeing. And I'm going to work on figuring that out. <laughs> um. Keith says, is a honey bun the same as a Cinnabon or different? James's favorite is a honey bun, and it is different than a Cinnabon, but... I don't eat a regular honey bun, though. I like the ones oh, really? with the white, the white icing on them. Ooh, that really is like a cinnamon roll. Yeah, well, it don't have cinnamon taste to it, though. Oh, it's, a it's just a honey bun with the white. It's good. Yeah. It's bad it's for you. It's sweet, a sweet dough. <laughs> Is what it is with icing. <laughs> um, Robin says honey buns are my favorite. Winnie says I do want sweets, not a craving, but in my head. Yeah. Um, That's Debbie says now that. thumbs up live. <laughs> Winnie says I hated honey buns. Wait, what? Oh, I hated honey bun. I read that wrong. I'm like, you can't hate honey buns. I even <laughs> like honey buns. <laughs> Um, Angel says it's like a glazed donut. Yeah, it's, it's like a glazed it's, donut. It's like a donut, yeah. yeah. Oh, Keith says, I love baklava when I have a hankering for sweets. I love... Okay, but do you like baklava with walnuts or pistachios? I can't eat nuts either, so... I have diperticulatus. I don't know if you ever heard of that or not, but I actually... Um, Diverticulitis is a stomach issue, but I had to have my entire colon taken out of my body, bad parts cut out, and put back together and put back in in 2016 because I have a genetic disorder from my dad that, you know, I, everybody that knows me knows I don't know my dad like that. So anyway, long story short, I can't have nuts. I don't know how I'm fat, y'all. I can't eat shit. So I can't eat nothing. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you can't eat nuts? Any nuts? No, and I oh. love cashews, and I can't have them. Oh, wow. They, that um, is... Where yours process through your colon or whatever, mine actually like uh, cling to the walls of my colon and explode. Thank you, genetics. That's not friendly. Right. Dang. Um. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, for Craig, to st Craig is a miracle walking, guys. I've said that more than once to him. Like, how are you still living? So, another example. My mother so, gets like, upset because I'm all the time, like, when people say that, I'm like, well, because I'm God's personal punchline. <laughs> he looks at me and goes, oh, no, you're still going. Let's get something else to throw at you. <laughs> And Latina says not even poppy seeds. I don't think you can eat any nuts. No seeds. No, no seeds, um, no nuts. I can't eat uh, any 
the only kind of uh, fruit I can even eat is watermelon because of the seeds being so big that I know I, uh-huh. I won't eat. Yeah. But I used to love strawberries. No. All, it's all seeds. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's just, I didn't, I mean, this is why we live on coffee, right? You live on coffee because we can drink it safely. <laughs> so what, what, how do you take your coffee? I need to know. Um, like two Splenda sugar things, whatever that's called. Not Splenda. What is it called? Stevia. Oh, Stevia. Yeah. The Little green dog. packages. Yeah, yeah and I, I have to have Starbucks caramel macchiato liquid creamer. That's the only thing that doesn't mm-hmm. make me not. Sure. And I drink about three pots of that a day, so it works pretty well. That's what you're alive on. <laughs> you're alive on coffee. I love coffee. Debbie, Debbie says, put this cow to pasture if I can't have certain foods. Okay, Debbie, so what certain foods can you not live without? That I need to know. <laughs> oh, and now I can't eat ground beef because of the Ozempic. I can't, you can't eat red meat. Like, it makes you it makes you uh, exorcist sick. I am so never taking Ozempic then, because Manjaro does not do that. I the can't other thing that, that I can fine. eat that doesn't, the only meat I can eat that doesn't make me profusely ill is Grilled chicken and tuna fish. Uh, that's it. De- uh, Debbie says cheese, nuts, and tomatoes, and pasta and pizza. Those are her favorite foods. Things she must have. Um, I have to. I'm addicted to diet coke, tea, and coffee. I can and bread. I love bread. I have a hard time giving up bread. I, want I, you to I up used diet to. Coke. Huh. I want I want you to give up the Diet Coke because aspartame is really bad for you. Yeah. That's why it's an addiction. Yeah. I've tried so many times. The longest I've ever gone without it is a year. And then it's still it's it's because it's everywhere here. When I would visit my mom, it was easy to give it up because it wasn't everywhere. And then here it's just everywhere. <laughs> um so I can do it if I can switch to iced tea, and then I'll, but then it never sticks. It's just, hmm. Have you tried the uh, one where you make your own soda? The um, soda I haven't tried that yet, but Jolie says Diet Coke aspartame is banned in countries that care about people. Well, we know we're not that country, so, you know. Well, aspartame causes severe memory loss. It has a lot of side effects. It's, it's it should be banned. I need to give up the diet coke. But that's why uh, I that the, the soda stream has diet, but it doesn't have aspartame in it. It has a uh, stevia yeah. or something in it. Well, I can't hand. I hate stevia. Oh. Yeah. Yes, I didn't know. Um. Yeah. Drink. Yeah. Jackie have. Coke Zero instead, but I think Coke Zero is still made with aspartame. It used to be made with a different substance and then they reformulated it. The Travis, um, drink, the Travis drinks Coke Zero. It doesn't have aspartame in it. Oh, he d- it does? Okay, well then I'll switch to Coke Zero. James, I'm switching to Coke Zero. What's that? I'm going to try and switch to Coke Zero. At least to get away from the aspartame. It tastes he's better done, than diet, he's, anyway. He's giving me that look of, I don't believe you, Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes better than diet. It don't have that white, that um, that artificial sweetener taste for some reason. I don't know why. I'm just used to it. I'm just used to it. So I'm going to try. I need to try because it's one of the things that is, I mean, my doctor's talked to me about this a hundred billion times. What's also bad with the soda, honestly, is the carbonation. Um, because if you're trying to reduce your food intake, drinking carbonated beverages is a you're and putting gas into your body, and that's just going to expand your stomach, which is not good. And I have on top of my other all my other health issues, I have um acid reflux. So yeah, I have that too. I don't like soda pop. I've never been a fan of soda pop. I always have. 
And my mother doesn't understand it because she never has. <laughs> but Jeff and I have always been addicted to Coca Cola. Not not anything else. It's always been Coca Cola. Yeah. Oh, storm's coming. My dog can hear it. He's barking. Um, so anyway, we've been hanging out for like an hour and a half. Um, how's everybody feeling? <laughs> we're all saying hi to each other. Tea. We're saying tea. I'm drinking... What? Whoa. Maybe a call came in? My acid reflux went away when you stopped eating flour. Really, Jolie? We lost Craig. I think he had a call come in. Let's see if he comes back. I like soda, but I also have love water. I drink four to five liters a day. That's a lot of water. Um, oh, his battery died. He did say that. Um, Burke and Boy got a call. No, I think his battery died. He might be showing up into the live then. Um, yeah, I'm excited for his lives too. Um, He'll come back if he can. If not, it's fine. I'm guilty for not drinking enough. I am i don't drink enough water. I really don't. Good night, Melissa. Um, try to catch up on my... Um, I am probably going to be going live tomorrow in the morning at some point um, just to hang out with you guys. I've made a huge mess behind me. I didn't mean to. Oh, there we are. Hold on. He's back. I added you back. My, uh, my camera just said, we quit. <laughs> Yeah. Can't wait. Oh, everybody's excited about your lives. So we're getting a tour of your what outside patio? Screen and porch. <laughs> Screen and porch. There we go. So if, if, if I'm not we, on camera, it's because I have a bad habit and I'm gonna turn it just like you. <laughs> no, you're on camera, you're fine. We can see you. Yeah, but is it, is it okay if I smoke on camera? That's not okay, right? I don't see why it's a problem. I okay. have no idea. Well, turn it to the side just to make sure. I'll still be here. You just won't be able to see me. Yeah. <laughs> so he's there. He's just not there. He's like, he can hear us. Um, you have a hair appointment tomorrow morning. It's time to get she. Oh, you're getting haircut. Nice. As you can see, I approve of haircuts. Um, and it's not against it's not against YouTube rules. Hey, thank you, Debbie. I'll tell all of them now. Um, Craig over here tell Jackie not to drink all the time because he smokes. Yeah, you can smoke on camera. It's okay. <laughs> that's why I was. That's why I did that. I don't. I don't know and offend anybody with my smoking across three hundred thousand miles away. Yes, I'm like a flag. Well, as soon as the live is over, I'll go in and I go into my YouTube studios and I'll put um, a rating on this. It's okay. I think they can smoke and watch a video the other day. Girl, had. yeah, I think so. I mean, it's not illegal. It's 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 completely illegal. He's he's you know over the age of sixteen. It's okay. By a long shot. Um. Mm. So anyway, I have um, another unboxing. Oh. No, I do not. Thank God, because even I'm like that's crazy talk. But I did want. Did I show you? I think I showed you one of the bags I'm selling. Somebody told me the name of it. Let me show you. Remember, I said I didn't know what the name of this bag was, and somebody reminded me on my Facebook that it's or on a comment that it's called the Emery. So this is the Coach Emery. So this bag, I'm probably going to list that tomorrow. It's one of the billion things I have to do that I haven't done yet. Um, that bag, I, that bag, I should sell really quickly. They don't usually stay on the market very long. No, they don't. But we'll see. Nothing, nothing has been selling quickly for me. Um, <laughs> but it's <laughs> the the chats are we're commenting on foods and oh, this is okay. This is a Watson treat. James handed this to me. Watson, Watson. And now he's happy. <laughs> no. You don't have to hide. He's used to hiding from Milo. 
because he 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 can't eat as fast as Milo did, so he um would always go find a place to hide to eat his chew bone. Now he doesn't have to hide. He can eat wherever he wants. And he's playing with his little toys now. He's being very cute. Extremely spoiled. Very spoiled. Um, What's wrong with that? But that's what, you know, it's, it's a pug. It's, a, it's our baby, a fur baby. And we have a nanny cam, so we just see him. I have an Emery to my... And it says the strap... And she says the strap falls off. Well... um. It has a thick strap, and again, it's that smooth, le- smooth leather. So for me, because again, my shoulders slope, um, it's hard to stay on. It, if you put it on as a crossbody, it's great. Um, and that one's large enough that it is a good crossbody. Um, but you know that brand that Winnie Winnie B hates that I, I want DYP that Winnie doesn't like. Oh they yeah, got those little um. Oh god, all oh, those little the shoulder pad pad things. Pad. Yeah. 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 Why the other days I want the dirt on how come she doesn't like that <laughs> brand? Like when he, it's you guys know like me. Sponsorship that went awry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hers is pebbled and the strap falls off. Um, old D says old habits die hard for pugs, even for pugs. Yes, he's 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 hard to. They're very stubborn. The breed is actually very stubborn. Oh yeah, I don't, I do not love them. Uh, well, Winnie, um, give us the tea. We want, are, we want the tea. Yeah, I, I would. I see you have a live next Tuesday, Winnie, and uh, we want the tea. <laughs> Don't you have a guest next Tuesday? Isn't it? Um, Dish, I need to know concerning buying bags from there. I have a bag from, from that company, Nancy. I like the bag, um, but I'm not an affiliate, I'm not a sponsored, I'm not nothing. Um, Mine used to climb under the covers and sleep by my on my feet. Um, yes, Debbie, our pug sleeps under the covers. It's like you have a hard time breathing. You have a smushed face. Why are you? He is a double coated of fur, and he gets under the covers. Like, are you dog? You're so weird. You know. You know what I think um, of every time I see his face. What? It takes me back to Men in Black. I don't know why. Yes. Because they have the pug, they have a, a exactly like he even has the same little tooth thing going on. I, I just Every, everybody has said that. Everybody says, "Oh yeah, your your pug is just like." Oh, I did have something happen today. Um, I used my new Reed Karkoff bag, the little square one. It is so soft, like the leather on that is the softest leather I have ever. It is amazing. I'm like. Why don't I have more of these bags? Every time I touch one of those reed bags, I'm like, I need to buy another one. Every single time. <laughs> they have a bunch of those on the real real right now. The the little square ones like that. Mm-hmm. In really fun Nancy colors. Said, yes. Nancy says pugs love warmth. The pickles is down there all night. Yes. Uh Winnie. Yeah, who is on with you, Winnie, next week? Um when I was a wee channel, all wide-eyed and bush, bushy-tailed, I reached out to her. She said politely, oh, no, I'm not doing sponsorships right now. Cut to two of my YouTuber friends getting sponsored. Really? Oh, see, that hurts. <laughs> Winnie, that hurts. I simply do not trade with people um, that do not trade with me. Yeah, no, that's that's not cool. That's not cool, Winnie. Um, yeah, I would feel that way too if you said, "Oh no, I don't do sponsorships." But actually, there's a company I reached out to and um, to do a sponsorship with because they had done one with another company, another YouTuber I'd watched. But my channel's so tiny um, that they they didn't want to, and I know they got the email because they responded, but then they never reached out to me. I'm like, oh, I see how it is. So we don't. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure how I feel about sponsorships in general. Um, so I you know, I've had S zone bags and they found out that YouTube isn't their platform. They tried, but they're not getting that much traction from it. I told them part of their problem is that your bags are great, but your name is S Zone. And when you Google S Zone, car parts come up, not your bag company. Huh? There's a trampoline park here called S Zone. I know, which is which is why I told them as a bag company calling your company S Zone, you're gonna get 
the branding is wrong, but they can't change their branding. So um, they have a they have a Amazon store, you know. But I have several other bags. They gave me a bunch, and I bought a bunch because I feel like if you're going to give me an item, I also want to be a client as well as a sponsored item. So I try to buy something, and I wish I had done it differently. Where I bought the sponsored item, or I bought the items on my husband's name and account so they wouldn't know it was me um but that's my only thing about um yeah so yeah they want to expose they want the exposure it's a business i guess they don't need mine either oh says nancy carnes i'm not sure which which company it is but there's a lot of um i think the they're shifting from influencers are direct to influencer shopping or promotions it just feels like people don't want influencers to sponsor their items my thing with the um, sponsored videos is the, is the way you implement the sponsorship into your video i don't want to mm -hmm. watch a 45 minute video and 38 minutes of it is you talking about ideal you can wiggle that in there and make it part of the the content without it being a commercial that's my thing. Cassie, well, I, I watched. Really well. Alyssa Lenore does it really well. Uh huh. But there's not many other ones that do it really well. Do I watch the. Good. Like what Winnie has like three minutes of a commercial instead of 15. 20? Minutes. Yeah, I mean, you can handle three minutes, five minutes of anything. But when it's every I single eat. video, I can't. Mm -hmm. Well, the thing is, like, I was watching. LV Lover CC and she did a whole video on Goelia clothing. The entire video was her styling Goelia clothing. I'm like, I don't know if I really wanted to see this, <laughs> but I did watch it. <laughs> but she's had like four videos doing that now. I was like, who? How much money is Goelia putting out to people? Because Mim's doing it in Australia, and then CC Lover LV's doing it, and it's like. What's what's the deal with Goelia? Um, oh, oh, did she? It's like they uh, then they pay her heavily. It says Winnie, I missed something. Winnie, um, Lenore is very subtle with her sponsored videos. I don't know who Lenore is. Who is she? It's Alyssa Lenore. Alyssa Lenore. Hmm. I've seen probably a from her before. She's, I, I think she's got know. like 120, 130,000 subscribers, but she's so relatable. Uh huh. And she's personable, like Cat. She's been in a lot of Cassie's videos, actually. They're friends. But um, I'll send you a link to her channel. She's very relatable. Well, you may have. It's just that I have like 800 people I'm subscribed to. I'm not even kidding. I don't remember everybody. Um, we're just talking about a company called Go Goelia, just in general. It just seems like Lily, Lily Silk, Goelia, Ideal, all the heavy hitters that are the same sponsorships over and over and over again. Lots of people, which, I mean, those at least make sense, but I listen to um, Emily D. Baker, I think that's her name. She's the lawyer, and she has some weird sponsorships in there. That I mean, she's a law crime person. And then I listen to another one like Annie Elise Ten to Life. She also will have like drink sponsors in her crime. That's <laughs> like she's talking. It's like I don't really know where you put what advertising you really want on a crime and criminal show, but <laughs> apparently drinks. <laughs> You know, in Mel in Melbourne, she did mm -hmm. Guelia too, but she mm -hmm. did the video, like hers is misleading. Like she, the video was like my Hermes collection or something, and then she's like showing these outfits from Guelia, and then she's talking mm -hmm. about that seventy percent of the video, but we're supposed to be looking at bags. That's the kind of sponsorship stuff that makes me upset. Yeah. Hmm. But so I just like I like um I like so I'm I'm a little conflicted with the sponsorships. Um I'm not really a I mean I'm a little micro micro channel, so I'm I'm cool with what I got. And I like you know, I like doing the sponsorship with um Naomi Naomi Crafted because I really like her stuff. 
I want her tiny little business to succeed, and I will be buying two more bags from her. I know um, because I like I like the whole concept. Um, and she's nice. We talked a lot. She talks a lot to me. She's very responsive. And uh, we were talking. Um, I told her, hey, you know, I'm half Asian. I'm part Chinese. And we start talking about that because she's in Hong Kong. So that was a lot of fun. Her, I, her, her English is better. Grammar is better than mine. Mine's awful. <laughs> she communicates very well. Mm. So we're talking about sponsorships in the chats. So we're talking about um, Am Amari, Am Am A I M E R E. It's a company that Dawn works with. I think that's the one that does the encasements that she sometimes sponsors. Um, Mim says, but he, hubby, does buy all the new bags. So I guess he does sponsor in a roundabout way <laughs> all my new bags. That's true. My bags are sponsored by my husband. Our, our Well, our income is in the same pot. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so in that regards, he buys all my bags. I should tell him that. <laughs> my garden tote arrived today, but I'm at home. When the s -Bot garden tote from Naomi's Crafted, I'm very excited to see it. Um, I've seen a bunch of her reviews. Um, Winnie says her favorite sponsor is Ideal Jewelry, but she told me last time I never sold anything, so we broke. Oh, no. Oh, she broke up with you because you weren't good enough of a sponsorship? Here's the thing. I like Ideal, the brand. I like what they're doing. Every YouTuber on the planet has an Ideal sponsorship. You can't expect them all to bring in 8,000 people because mm -hmm. the same people are watching every channel. Yeah. So whoever put Ideal video out first is who's going to get the most clicks. And you have to use the code um, or else they don't have a way to track it. You know, yeah. So that that's how they figure out your good enough return on their investment because they're investing into you by giving you this item, you know. I could be wrong, but I think that they like Winnie should have gotten a specific link. Like when you click on her link, it shows how much traffic came from her. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yep. Um, Debbie says sometimes people buy but forget to use their YouTuber codes. I do that actually all the time. I do forget to use the YouTuber codes. Because sometimes the YouTuber codes aren't actually as good as the codes they offer for promotion, other promotions, and they don't stack. So a lot of times I've gone to use a code and what they were offering was better than what the YouTuber offered. So, yeah. But I went there because I saw it on YouTube. Yeah. You know, Karis does that. She'll tell you if her code's not as good as what they have going on. And mm -hmm. I appreciate that. Even though I'm not going to buy, you know, Goelia, I appreciate that she's being honest about it. Well, I actually did go look at Goelia because I liked the clothing. They don't come in my size range. Neither does Lily Silk. So for me, it doesn't matter, you know. And I looked because I actually, what I am looking at right now, though, is Kints because I really want one of their bags. Um, Oh, Quince? Yeah. I, I, I buy a lot of uh, knitwear from them, like cashmere, because that, that's the cheapest place you can get quality cashmere. I mean, it's not, the, it's not, it's quality enough. Does that make sense? It's, yeah. It's still cashmere. It's, it's just not ultra plush, thick cashmere. But what I'm saying is you, it's the only place you can get cashmere sweater for $40. Saya just came into the chats and he says, don't get me started on Portland leather goods. That's the con that's a conversation nobody wants me to be involved in either. I'm I'm with you on that. I'm actually and I have Portland other goods, but um here's the, I I like the raindrop and the rainstorm, the new ones because it has the rolled handle. But for the lack of finish out, those products are very expensive for not the best. Yeah, let's not talk about Portland Leather Goods. But they yeah. have a huge following. Um, Winnie says, I do not F with Anna Luisa anymore, honey. Yeah, so Anna Luisa has been kicked to the curb. Is that, um, hmm? Is that Anna Luisa Jewelry? Yeah, it's another jewelry company. Oh, yeah. Jolie and I have talked about 
uh, Portland leather goods. Yeah, I have. I mean, I have three of their bags. I have some of their small leather goods. I actually really like their eyeglass case. I have their eyeglass case, but I don't think their stuff is great. I don't even think their stuff is good. The only thing that makes them halfway good is that it's at least leather, you know? What is that brand you've been showing a lot that you bought? Um, American Leather or whatever? Oh, American Leather Co.? Yeah. They look higher quality than Portland Leather Goods. There's more finished details to it. And they're about the same price point. Um, but the, the the leather is a little thinner on the American Leather Co., but the finishing details... Um, Frozen Lushry says, if I wanted to pay for unfinished leather, I'd go to Michael's and buy a kit and make my own. Amen. Amen. That's the truth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nancy, you have the same integrity. I get that from your videos. Um, the stitching. The stitching is a joke. Yes. Um, I'm not impressed just from looking at the website. Yeah, Portland Leather Goods, the problem is their finishing details. They're, they're almost like, um, I want to say they're like design school students projects that's kind of like where i put them the level of the finished quality and that's what they're selling and people love people love them i people love that company and i do not know why because i love tote bags their tote bags aren't that great you know every time um, I they do I have nice slgs every i every agree i, I like the bags uh, it looks like you know, when you type in on amazon genuine leather bag yeah what it brings up the uh, it looks like there's no finish. It's not even bad finish details. There is no finish details. There's no, yeah, there's no finish details. Um, the the one that actually does really good if you look for vegetable tanned leather is a Go Forth Goods. There's another couple um, good, qual higher quality, but they they cost more. They cost a lot more. That's part of the problem. Um, craft work. Oh, that's a good way. D. D. Higginbotham says craft fair quality, and that's yeah. true. That's Portland leather goods. That's exactly it. Um, Lori says I live 15 minutes from Portland. I'm not racing over there. <laughs> oh, Winnie B says, guys, or rather creators, you don't need to worry about the YouTube AdSense money if you can ride with five to ten sponsors. You like. Um, and you believe in, oh, yeah, I mean, sure, if you get sponsors. You know, I, I watch um, Hey Everybody, and so does Debbie. We watch her. We really like her. She actually makes more money from AdSense than she does. She said she said this in her video, yesterday's video. She makes more money from her YouTube channel than she does from her full-time job. And she has 12,000 subscribers. It's not a huge amount of subscribers, but she's doing enough in AdSense in the market because people love haul videos that she's that's just mind blowing that her full time job pays less than her YouTube, you know, part time job. Um, I think that's why I'm annoyed with them. They're from Oregon. <laughs> um, awesome. Saya. Yep, it's crazy, says Debbie. I think I missed a comment or two. I, there's there, there's lots of chats going on here. Cool, Saya, what do you think of Dooney? Saya loves Dooney, D. He just bought a Dooney. You know, it's coming in the mail. Do you have your Dooney at Saya? Luxational says I didn't get notifications. I don't think anybody got notifications. And this was, a, guys, this was a pre-scheduled. So this is actually scheduled to go out. So it should have... YouTube had plenty of time to tell everybody. I got um, a Yeah. Yeah, I don't get notifications of some of my other stuff either. It's just really frustrating. What I have done, though, is I've gone through my my the subscriberships that I normally watch consistently, and I've changed them from the all notifications to personal. So it just changes. So I have fewer you must tell me when they come on. I think there were just too many. Um, and YouTube just can handle. Um, <clears throat> Sandy says, my sister lives, loves her. Everybody I have, I have hard t time watching her. She talks so slow. She's nice though. So I don't know who you're talking about. Sorry, Sandy. I missed who you're talking about. Excellent, Saya. I got a notification hours and hours after the live says MT Native. That's annoying. Are you going to do another unboxing video, Saya? Um, 
Sandy, change your playback speed. MT, I hate when that happens. So we're just, I didn't get notifications as well. Wow. So apparently nobody's getting notifications. Uh, Lori, I might go live tonight and open it. Yay, Saya. Hey, do you want to come live with us? Oh, wait, wait you might not have this, this software. You have to create an account. Uh, this this account, I can have I up to seven guests. Hmm? Hmm? I don't have an account. You just email me a link and I clicked on it. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I didn't have an account. What it does is it takes you into the the software mm -hmm. and then you just have to give permission and allow and then put a screen name in there and that's all it made me do. Nice. Oh. Andrea says, do y'all have any Basante bags? I do not have a Basante bag, but I would love one. I looked into, I don't know how I found that brand. Do you know about the Basante brand, Craig? I've never heard it's, of it. It's an Italian company uh, creator who made it and it's actually very popular in Japan. And it's all like a really high end leather and you can is B I S O N T E bags. Um how do I do that, Andrea? But should we? Yeah, it's it's a cool you can find the Basante bags like I think I've seen them like at Saks or they're kind of high endish, minimalist looking, but um they're more popular in the Asian market. They're not really that popular. Like, I don't see them in America. Mm. Neiman's carries them. Yes, Neiman's carries them. I knew I saw it somewhere. Um, and it's like a bison emblem, but it's called Basante. I don't remember if it's bison leather, but, or buffalo leather. So anyway. Okay, guys, well, we're at the two hour mark. I know we have 50 people watching, but I think we're going to call it. And um, maybe Saya will go live and we can go watch him open his Dooney. Are you good with that, Craig? I'm good. I'm, I'm, my battery is about dead anyway. So, <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, we're going to call it tonight. And yeah, we will see now that Craig has 50 subscribers, he's going to go live next week. Yep, I don't Jackie, know when. tell I us will. why we can buy so much from Japan because Japanese market they are about buying the buying new things. So a lot of their things, uh, and they keep their things very well. Um, they take care of their things, and so they they just always they're always turning them because they're always buying the next newest thing. It's all about the next newest thing in Asia, always. And they buy a crap ton. Like they don't go to the Louis store and buy one bag, they go buy five. Yeah. They buy five. Yeah, please thumb up before you leave. Thank you for watching my videos. I only had three of them today. <laughs> so, Bye, guys. And I'll probably go live tomorrow. Bye, you guys. Have a oh, I watched, I don't know if I told you this. I watched uh, Super Dacob has surprises live today. I was like, oh my gosh. It made my day, guys. It made my day. Anyway, thank you, everybody. Have a great day. We will see Craig next week on his own channel. Uh, <laughs> Bye. Uh...